Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead and East Fork Christmas Tree Farms. Uh, I got a little something here to share with you today. It's uh, not rocket science or earth chattering news, but uh, if you're looking to do a Christmas tree farm, you might get a few ideas here. So, uh, on my small Christmas tree farm, we do cut the trees for people and help haul them out. And so we have, this is our setup that we have. I have a Honda Rancher 360 uh, and a trailer. Uh, that We like this trailer because it has the rubber edge, or the uh, plastic edges that are rounded so you can throw a tree in and pull it out. Uh, we have a tr bigger trailer that can hold more trees but it has the the 90 degree angle iron on the sides and it sometimes the trees get a little bit of damage when you're yanking in and out. Uh, we can be more careful and not let that happen but this is safer. Um, we, it's a really narrow trailer and it's a really narrow, narrow quad. I purposely bought this quad, the Honda Rancher 360 because of the width of our rows. Um, Smaller quads aren't strong enough to pull my herb, uh, my sprayer or my um, fertilizer spreader, but this one is uh, perfect size for me. And I think it has a 42 inch wheelbase or maybe even less than that. Anyway, I bought it from my father-in-law off of his ranch uh, so that I could use it on my Christmas tree farm because I can get up and down the rows, but yet it's got enough power to do it. 250 has the same wheelbase, but it's almost uh, not enough power to do some of the things we want to do. The 420s, a little bit too wide. So that's why I have a Honda Rancher 360. Um, the other thing I'll, I want to show you here is we have a place to put our saw. Uh, we have a sheath that we just stick the saw in. And so before we had that on there, uh, the boys would throw the, the saw in the trailer and then the teeth would sometimes grab the tree or uh, if we don't pull the tree out, we're looking for the saw. And so it's nice to put it on there. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more uh, closer up on how, uh, just what I did to create that sheath. It's just something I built myself. We like to have it on the back half of the quad uh, because sometimes we're carrying a tree and, and then we're carrying a tree on the front racks and then it's also the most efficient. I loaded it up. I had the uh, sheath up on the front of the quad at one point in time but then you're throwing a tree in running to the front of the quad, sticking it in, and then going back. And whereas, if you have it right here, you throw the, you throw the tree in, put this in, hop on, and you're on your way. So uh, this is the setup that we like. We all um, have a John Deere Gator now that uh, Barry's in-laws helped us uh, buy. And so we, pull, we have the same trailer attached to the back of that. And it also has a bed that's wide enough to put a tree on so we can get a couple trees out. But um, our tree farm is small. So to the point that we don't have people just driving their vehicles all the way around. They need to cart their vehicle, their trees out, but it's large enough that there's some trees quite a distance away. So we help haul the trees out with this. Uh, so here you can see I have that narrow wheelbase for my 360. This is how we carry our saw. Nice rounded edges here. Keeps the tree safe and secure. This is really good for keeping the saw safe in a secure place and you know where it's at. Slides out real easy. I made this long enough that I have a 30 inch bar that also will slide in there. It is just a couple pieces of plywood uh, with another piece of plywood in between. Left a hole, I'll show you a little bit more of how I made it. But uh, this is not only good on the tree farm, but uh, when I don't have my trailer on and I'm clearing trails out of my property and I need to drive up and down through trails <laughs> instead of trying to hold the saw in my lap or tie it down to the racks and then get it off, tie it down to the racks and use it and then tie it down to the racks. I can just pull it out, use it, slide it back in and it rides really well and it rides better <clears throat> than sitting on the racks. I made this holster or sheath, whatever you want to call it, uh, separately, but uh, it's really easy to get on and off. I have a little bit of a bar on the rack here and just a couple bungee cords. You take off a couple bungees. And then it comes off real simply. There's the groove that the saw goes in. I put a notch right here <coughs> so that it catches on the right place on the rack to hold on. So that notch fits in right there. Bungee around this back bar that goes up a little bit. Holds it nice and tight in there. Works great. We have recently planted, uh, probably in, or expanded our field another acre and a half to two acres. So it's spreading out there quite a ways and we're gonna have to uh, do something uh, to make it easier for people to get trees in and out. Um, 
One thing we're considering is doing the more traditional for larger tree farms is let the vehicles just drive out, throw it in the back of their truck, and then bring it up to the cash register. Um, but I don't know if we want that much traffic out there. Another thing that's proven really popular on different uh, tree farms and pumpkin patches and whatnot is hay rides. And so I'm considering uh, hooking up a trailer on our tractor and just uh, driving it around the field in a loop and uh, setting up racks on it that uh, I don't have a design yet, but setting up racks on it that you could just throw some trees on and people can actually jump on and sit on it and then bring them in. So it won't be a true hay ride where you go all the way around, but we'll, we could just have one person driving the tractor, so obviously someone responsible, going one direction all the way around the field. People can cut their trees, bring it out to the main road in the middle, throw the tree on, jump on, get a ride back uh, to the cabin and the shaker, and then uh, get off there. And so they can have, I know families would love to get on there with their kids and whatnot. And so we could pick up trees, drop them off, just go around, pick up trees again, and just keep making a loop. And that would be a fun, a fun addition for uh, the families, and it'll help get the trees in, and we don't have traffic back and forth. As always, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Be blessed.